Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel and today, well, okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me explain what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm going to be talking about a product that I was, I fully intended on um, trying out for at least a month before I did any videos about it. I was going to completely test it out and then I was going to talk about it. But I decided that I was going to go ahead and put this video out first and then a couple of months from now I will do an updated video and I will talk about, I'll talk about like the product more in depth as far as results and stuff like that. But after using it the few times that I've already used it, I just wanted to go ahead and talk about it in case there were any people out there that were wanting to get it but didn't really want to shell out the money um, without having a little bit more like information, I guess. So today we're going to be talking about Divi. Um, it is a scalp serum. And if you don't know what Divi is, if you've never heard of it, then you probably don't follow Danny Austin on Instagram. But this is a company that she has started, and it is a scalp serum that she worked on for a very, very long time. So I'm pretty sure she probably has highlights and stuff like that about Divi. So I will link her Instagram down below so you can check her out for yourself to get like the information, the most wealth of information from the person who created this herself. Um, this is her Instagram page. I'll plop it up right here for you guys. She is such a precious human. She seems like she genuinely has such a good heart. Um, and I just really enjoy following her. And uh, yeah, so if you like to follow other moms, if you like to follow beauty accounts, fashion accounts, stuff like that on Instagram, definitely go check her out if you haven't already, which I find that hard to believe because so many people follow her. Um, but let's talk about the scalp serum. So um, as soon as she said that she was going to release this, I got excited and she has suffered from hair loss. She has suffered from hair thinning. Um, she has been self-conscious. She took to wearing wigs because of it. So if anyone's going to make a product for hair health and scalp health and um, to help hair regrowth, I feel like she could be, she should be very trusted. Um, so I bought it as soon as it went live. I signed up for text alerts and I was outside walking the dog and bloop, it popped up and I was like, oh, gotta buy this. I literally got on my phone and bought it from my phone right there. Um, super quick and easy. Right now, I do believe they are currently out of stock, sold out, but she is working really hard to get them back in stock. She had a little mini restock um, one night, I do believe, and I thought about buying another one, um, but I was like, no, I'm going to let people that didn't get a chance to get it the first time get one of these. Um, so here is the product. Here's the bottle. I love the green color. To speak on the packaging, the packaging is really, really nice. I paid $46 for this. I do not remember what it is. I know I got a discount for signing up. Let me look up um, exactly how much this is without any... I paid $46.02. Um, that's with taxes and all of that, and it would have been fifty three thirty six. dollars um, I got 15% off. So this is going to cost you about, we'll just round it up to 55 bucks, or you can get a pack that has three bottles in it to last you three months, which obviously that one is going to be a lot more expensive, but I think a lot of people um, trying this out for the first time are going to go for just a single bottle just to test it out for a month and just see what they think. Um, so this isn't a cheap product, okay? This is a pricier product, um, $55. It's not exactly, you know, just like chomp change, especially for a lot of people. Um, so that is another reason, really, right now? 
Um, it's a nice day today, so like lots of motorcycles and people driving around. So sorry if you heard that. But that's another reason why I wanted to talk about this because $55 is an investment for a lot of people. And I know I enjoy seeing reviews and hearing what people think about products before I just like drop the money on them. So anyways, packaging is really, really nice. It's really sturdy. It came really quickly. The shipping was super fast. Um, everything was nice. Nothing had spilled. Everything was great in the mail. Now I can't get the bottle out. I've had this out. I've used it for over a week now. Um, all right, so it comes in this, so it's nice and protected. It's nice and safe in the mail. And this is the bottle minus Sasha's dog hair. That doesn't come with your bottle. But if you want some Sasha dog hair, I can pack some up and mail it to you because I have enough in my house. Like I just go brush parts of the carpet and I can get you some dog hair. So anyways, here is the bottle itself. Let me tell you what this claims to do. It says it revitalizes and detoxifies your scalp. It aids against hair thinning. It nourishes your hair follicles. It detoxifies product buildup. And that is one thing that I've already said in other videos. Like when you use a lot of dry shampoo, hairspray, um, hair gel, mousse, hair products in general, whatever hair products it might be, your scalp gets buildup. And your hair has trouble growing when your scalp has built up gunk. It's hard for your hair to grow. Okay. It's just obviously that makes sense. Like if you have a bunch of little holes and you want things to go through the holes, but you have stuff stuck in all the holes, it's going to be hard for you to get all the stuff through. Same with your scalp, same with hair. So anyways, you guys now already know how I feel about dry shampoo and products like that. I try not to use them. Um, I would rather have dirty, gross looking hair um, than use dry shampoo or just prepare ahead and wash my hair. Um, I try not to use those kind of products. I'm not even big on hairspray unless it's a special occasion and I need my hair to stay. Other than that, I don't like using a lot of products on my hair. Um, and I do have fairly healthy hair, especially for someone that goes and gets their hair bleached every six to eight weeks and toned and all that stuff. And I've been doing this for, my hair has been blonde for, I think, over two years now. Like, and my hair is good. Um, I don't have a lot of breakage and stuff like that. I have pretty healthy hair. And that is because I try my best to take care of it. You only get one head. You got to be thankful for it and you got you to show it love. Um, so I'm just going to read you the back of the box, um, just so you can get some more info. This is a lightweight scalp serum, especially if you don't follow her and you never had heard of this. Anyways, lightweight, lightweight scalp serum. It's infused with a powerful blend of amino acids and peptides to detox, follicle buildup, support thicker hair, and aid overall scalp health when your scalp is healthy. Mm -mm. When your scalp is happy, your hair can be too. When your scalp's healthy, your hair can be health, uh, happy as well. I can't talk today. Anyways, to use this, you're going to shake the bottle well before you use it. You're going to apply a full dropper of serum daily directly to dry or towel dried scalp. Wherever results are desired, a slight tingling sensation may occur. This is just the serum working its magic. Good things take time. Best results occur after three months of continuous use. And then it obviously has a list of the ingredients, which the ingredients are nice. I've looked through them. There's things like rosemary leaf extract, peppermint, uh, eucalyptus oil, uh, glycerin, absorbic caffeine, absorbic acid, uh, tea tree leaf oil, and just different like the versions of it and stuff or you can look at the, in the ingredients you can get online and look at that. This is vegan, cruelty free, made in the USA and dermatologist tested. This is not something that she just, you know, decided she wanted to make in a month later rolled this product out. I really feel like this is something that came from her heart. Um, that came from a need, something that she needed, and then she saw where 
other women also have insecurities about hair loss or thinning hair and stuff like that. And she just really had a passion to help other people, which is great. Now, obviously, as you can tell, I don't have a problem with thinning hair. Um, thankfully, thank you, Lord. I don't have a problem with thinning hair, but my dad has thinning hair. My dad's mother had thinning hair. My dad's father was bald. Um, so thinning hair does obviously run in my family. Um, so it's not something that could, I, I may not suffer from in the future. So just like preventing wrinkles and taking care of your skin and being healthy and taking care of your body, you may not necessarily reap all the benefits right now, but in the future, you'll be very thankful that you, you know, did all those things. So I picked up a bottle and I was like, what the heck? Why not try it out? All right. Now, I said I don't have a problem with thinning hair, but I do have thin spots right here and right here at my temples. When I had my daughter, I had postpartum hair loss so bad that I could not wear my hair down because I, I mean, I could not wear my hair up because I would just cry because I just had bald spots right here. And at the time my hair was still its natural color. It was really, really dark brown. So it was so noticeable and I was so self-conscious and I would just get so upset. I didn't want to brush my hair. I didn't want to touch my hair. I didn't want to wash my hair. Every time I got in the shower, I would just have clumps of hair in my hands. And I remember no one told me like, hey, postpartum hair loss is a thing. You're going to have a baby. You're going to be breastfeeding. And then not only are you going to be tired and your boobs are going to be sore and you're, you know, just all of these different hormones are going to be going through your body, but you're also going to start losing your hair. Um, and I, like, I remember getting out of the shower and I was like, what is wrong with me? What is happening? So I Google it and I'm like, postpartum hair loss is a thing. Why don't they tell you about this stuff? Um, so, um, I suffer greatly from hair loss. Thankfully we regrew, we came back and then, you know, years later I got pregnant with Max and I already knew uh, I was very lucky though, after I had him, I didn't have as much hair loss. Um, I don't know what I might have done differently that may have helped it, but I am thankful that I didn't have as much hair loss. But at my temples, these two spots have never fully recuperated from having Sophia almost 10 years ago. Yes, she is almost 10. She will be 10 in January. I cannot believe my first baby is almost 10 help me. We are about to bust into the double digits. I am not ready, but that's not the point. Anyways. Um, so I was like, I'm going to use this on those areas and I'm going to see what's up because, uh, even my, the girl that does my hair and she's done my hair for over two years. She noticed the other day we were talking about it. She was like, I've always wondered why your hair is so thin right there. And I'm like, it never, it never grew back. So we're going to see if this helps those areas, um, obviously, like I said, my hairdresser, she even like, she knows those spots. So I'm going to see if she notices a difference in a couple of months. I'm going to see if I notice a difference. Um, I've been using this for over a week now and I've been using it every day. Um, I use it before bed, uh, just because that's easiest for me. Um, when I'm doing my like skincare, skincare routine, brushing my teeth, like I have this sitting on my sink and I just grab it, I get a dropper, and put it on my scalp. Obviously, if you're not using it on a huge area, then you may not need a full dropper every single day, like maybe just like half of a dropper. Um, I will also say this, this is the coolest thing and another reason why I wanted to make this video. Okay, I suffer from extremely dry scalp. Um, I live in Colorado, as most of you, if you're not new here, probably already know. And especially fall and winter, it's so dry here. And you can literally feel your skin go from like normal to like the moisture sucked out of it overnight when it gets cold. And we've recently hit those months where it's getting colder, it's cooler, everything's dry. My face, my skin, my cuticles, my scalp. And... 
I also have psoriasis and I get it on the back, like the nape of my neck, like in my hairline. Um, and the dry scalp and the dry conditions do not help it whatsoever. And I, for a long time, have been looking for anything that would help it. I would wake up in the morning with blood underneath my fingernails because in my sleep, I would just be clawing at the back of my head because my, my scalp was so itchy and it would hurt and it would be so uncomfortable. I mean, obviously with me bleaching my roots often, that does not help. But anyways, um, I've been using this for, I want to say eight days now, maybe more. I'm not really sure. Um, by the time this video goes up, I will have been using it longer. And guys, um, there was one night when my scalp was super duper itchy. It was burning. It was hurting. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put this scalp serum on it. I know it doesn't say anything about being useful for that, but I put it on there. And it did not burn, so that was one good thing, even though I had been scratching it. So I know the skin was, like, irritated and stuff. It did not burn. And my head has not itched since. Um, I've been using this not only here, but I've been using it on the back of my head where I have, like, the most dryness and, and where it always gets itchy. And I have not had one issue with it being itchy since I started using this. And... Take it for what you will, but I fully believe like this is helping that. And honestly, even if this doesn't help like my thinner areas, it's worth it just to have it for that spot that literally would hurt and itch so bad that I would wake up with like bloody fingernails because I would be scratching it in my sleep and not even realizing that I was like scratching it like until it was bleeding. Um, so... I'm just going to say, I'm not going to say like this cures psoriasis or whatever, but if you have extremely dry scalp, if, I mean, maybe it would even help with dandruff. I don't know. I think I saw her post someone's comment that said they'd suffered from dandruff and that this has helped with their dandruff. So, I mean, obviously this can be used for so many different things other than this, but honestly it makes sense because if it detoxifies your scalp, then like all the dry skin and all that stuff like it would help get that off and help like remove that I don't know I'm not a scientist all I'm saying is is this has made my head feel so much better in these dry cold like days and I can't wait to try this out in like the dead of winter when it's the worst um a few other things the scent on this is great now, some people may not love this. To me, it definitely smells like eucalyptus oil and peppermint oil kind of mixed together. Those are two of my favorite um, oils, to be honest. I love the scent of eucalyptus. Like, I could just bathe in it. I love eucalyptus. It makes me feel so calm and so relaxed. So that's another reason why I like to use this before bed, because I put it on my scalp and I can smell it while I'm laying on my pillow. And it just makes me feel like I'm kind of like in a spa and very relaxed and very chill and mellow. Um, so I love the scent. Some people may not like it though. And that's okay. But it just has like this really like, like almost cleans out the sinuses type of scent. Like if you smelled like a peppermint or like eucalyptus or tea tree oil or whatever, like just like a, ah, like a wide awake, like fresh tingly minty type smell. I don't know how to describe it, but I really enjoy it. It's one of my favorite scents. Um, so I like the scent. I will say my husband hugged me the other night though and he goes, and I'm sorry if that sounds gross. I'm a little sniffly. Uh, the weather keeps going whoop, 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 hot, cold, hot, cold. And my sinuses are like, we don't know what to do. Um, but my husband was like, why do you smell like Ben Gay? And I was like, it's not Ben Gay. It's my hair serum. And he was like, or my scalp serum, and he was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm just gonna, just gonna warn you. Like, it's not like, it, it's a scent, you can smell it for sure, but it goes away. 
Like, I don't smell it on myself, like, even, like, 30, 40 minutes afterwards. Like, it, it dissipates. It definitely, like, soaks into the skin, and the smell, like, goes away. My hair smells like my shampoo and my, like, hair treatments and stuff like that. It doesn't smell like this. Um, so don't worry about that. You can use this on dry hair. I use it on dry hair at night. I prefer. I used it with wet hair. I prefer to use it with dry hair. Um, I just feel like it gets into the scalp. You can feel where it is. So I just like run the dropper on my scalp and then I take my fingers and I just like try to like gently massage it into the scalp more. And then back here, I just run the dropper down the back of my head and I run my fingers up and I just massage it on those places where I want it. And it dries in a couple of minutes and you can't tell you ever put anything on your hair. It does not leave it feeling oily or greasy, which is crazy to me because you're putting like a serum on your scalp. And I mean, obviously it gets on your hair and stuff. And I figured like it would look wet. It would, wouldn't dry properly. It would feel greasy or what? No, it just like dries and it's gone. And that's it. It's just on your scalp. It soaks into the scalp. So it's crazy. Um, but yeah, like here is the dropper here. Oh, I'm shaking. I've had too much coffee today. <laughs> here is the dropper. Uh, the consistency is almost like I'm going to compare it to fat free milk. It kind of looks like fat free milk. Like it's got like a little bit like of like a like a white milkiness to it but it's very very like diluted so it's not like you're squeezing Elmer's glue or anything like that it's like a very watery consistency but it's got a little bit of a white tint to it obviously you can't see that once it's on your head um but yeah guys I just wanted to talk about this product um and let you guys know that so far I am really really loving it and honestly even if it doesn't help my thinning spots just for the simple fact that it helps me sleep like a baby without scratching my scalp and I, my scalp hasn't felt dry at all and I'm really anxious to go back to my hair appointment on December 10th because that's my next hair appointment and see like if she says anything about my scalp if she says anything like your scalp looks really, really good because I mean like she's in my hair. She's painting bleach on like my roots. So she's in every single inch of my scalp. So if there's any difference, she should notice. So I'm kind of hoping she just says something. I don't want to prompt her. I kind of want her to just be like, hey, this looks like that. You know what I mean? Like, so I will touch base after I've used this for at least a month, if I see any negative side effects, if I see any like awesome positive side effects, I might give a little update. I might put it in a short instead of a full video, but I will be back in several weeks, probably after December 10th, because I want to get in my next hair appointment and see if she says anything about my scalp. And I will let you know what's up. I will give you all the tea and let you know if it helped with my thinning areas um, and all, if it's still working on my dry scalp back here on my psoriasis spots, if it's still helping me out and if I'm still loving it, I will let you know. So be on the lookout for an update video with this product in the future. But until then, I love you guys. Uh, if you want to stay up to date on when she has restocks, I will link the Divi website down below and you can go to their website and sign up for text alerts and email alerts, whatever. Uh, just to let you know, I've gotten one text alert or two. One when the site went live for the first time and another one when they had their little restock. Other than that, I'm not getting a bunch of spammy text. So if you're leery about signing up for it, like right now, it's very, very professional and I haven't had any issues with it. So if you want to get your hands on this, I suggest signing up for at least the email alerts so you can be notified when it's when they have a restock. But with that, I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment before you go. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.